I get a lot of calls from surety claims handlers involving contractor license bonds and the unique procedure that we have in Arizona related to those bonds. Unlike a lot of other jurisdictions where there is a interpleader procedure, which requires the surety upon receiving multiple claims against a license bond to file a lawsuit uh, saying to the court, we have a bond that we're exposed to multiple liability and uh, the court needs to be able to decide uh, as to who is the rightful uh, claimants and what the distribution of those monies are. Arizona has something called a race to judgment procedure, which is really, really different. And it's really important for the surety claims examiner to know right out of the gate how this procedure operates, even before they call me. Uh, and the reason is, is that Arizona race to judgment procedure allows the surety to make one of two elections. The first election that they can make is that they can pay claims in order received. And the date the claim is received is based upon either the date the letter is sent uh, to the surety, or it's based upon the date the lawsuit is filed naming the surety as a party. Uh, and in that instance, the surety can pay claims in order received, first claim, second claim, until the bond penal sum is exhausted. The other election that the surety can make is, as opposed to paying claims in order received, they can wait for judgment to be entered against the surety and then pay an order of judgments entered against the surety. And that's a more conservative approach. I typically recommend that to my surety clients where you have multiple claims being made against the bond and it's unclear as to the order that the claims were received. And that typically occurs when you have claimant number one who makes a claim and then claimant number two comes along and makes a claim. In the meantime, claimant number one says, oh, you know, I've removed my claim and you're really not sure whether or not claimant number one has withdrawn their claim or not. And those precarious types of situations typically lend themselves to a recommendation to have the claimants race to judgment and will await uh, judgment to be entered against the surety.